Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. In today's video, we're going to go through uh, what the Texas system can do with a Caterpillar ECM. So on our workbench here, we have a C13 Caterpillar engine. And let's just go through all the different menu options. We've already taken the liberty of connecting to it. This one's on our workbench. It's going to throw all kinds of codes. There's not a single sensor hooked up to it. But it'll give you a good idea of just the capability that you can see with this tool. So first of all, we have a couple different tabs at the top. The first one is parameters. On this particular ECM, there are over 133 different engine sensors and positions that we can see on this vehicle. So we can go through here and look at engine oil pressure sensor readings. We can look at fuel rates, uh, inputs, outputs, anything at all that ECM is possibly putting out is all listed into this Texa tool. So again, our readings are way off. There's not actually a accelerator pedal hooked up to the ECM, so that's why you see all the goofy values that you do. The next tab over is our fault screen. The fault screen is going to show you all your inactive and active codes. So anything with a red triangle next to it is an active code, and we shouldn't really have any inactive codes. Uh, we're just going to have a whole bunch of active ones. And the way you do the troubleshooting on this is fairly simple. Uh, you would just click on the double click the code, and it's going to give you the actual code number, and it's going to tell you how many times it's happened, and it'll tell you what ECU it's on, which is obviously the engine. So on this particular engine, we have code 108, FMI3, we would go over to our DTC solutions where we literally have codes here for every single make and model that you can possibly think of and we're adding more and more to this system all the time. So in this particular case uh, I already have it up on the screen and these are all the different codes that we could possibly have. In our case we had code 108-3 which I've already selected and if I go down here you will see that there is a little bit of a description on why this code got set and then down here, it'll tell you all the probable causes and for the things for you to look at. We also have service manuals on the laptop as well that go through all the detailed troubleshooting for all the Caterpillar codes. So going back to our Texas system, we'll hit the confirm button to leave that menu. And we'll go over to the ECU information tab. And on this tab, you'll see a little more info on it, such as what protocol we're currently on. CAT has their own proprietary protocol. Uh, it'll give you the engine serial number, some other information. The activations and settings is what, what everybody always wants to see. So I click on that. This is where you'll find all your different tests and commands you can run. Cylinder cutoff, clear the errors, injector tests, special tests. If I click on that, CAT has a whole slug of uh, other commands that you can run with it. So I'll hit the confirm button and hop in here. And it'll tell you on these other commands. You can, you can scroll through the list here using the up and down arrows to run these commands. If it says not installed, it means the ECM did not detect that component on this particular ECM variation, so you can't run the test. So there's a whole bunch of tests and commands that are available there. I'll hit cancel to go back out and go over to the settings tab. So in this tab, this is where we can change all our parameters and run some of the other tests. Uh, so any kind of sensor or parameter change that you want to do on the vehicle will be found over here, such as changing your cruise control settings, uh, changing what your uh, coolant level sensor does if it want warning or shutdowns. All these little web lock symbols mean you have to have a form signed with Texa on file in order to run those commands. It's just a, a legality issue that they want to have cleared up before you start running commands. So it's a form you sign one time and then you're good forever. And as we go through here, uh, we'll just go through the whole list so everyone can get a good idea of all the different commands that you can do on this particular one. Uh, the big thing on Caterpillars is injector coding. So right here is where you'd be able to code injectors. And you can see there's obviously that ability to code injectors with the Texa and the trim files. All right, PTO settings and speeds. That's another one customers are asking for to be able to change. We go through the entire list. All right. So basically any pram or sensor or change that you can make with the OEM software you can do in here as well. If this was a EGR truck that required a force regeneration, that would be one of the commands that would be available in here as well. However, this particular ECM we are hooked up to doesn't have that. Um, it's a pre-EGR ECM, so there's no commands on there for it. So thank you for watching, and we'll be doing another video here to compare it with another tool shortly.